Jesus Christ, why do these look so good? Why can't every single character look like this? It's not even like a big deal. It's just like uh, the contrast. It's like already the foil pattern and shit that we already had before. But it just looks so good now. Maybe when My Hero Academia comes up and they stop using a Chinese or whatever, shitty printer will get some like s sick ass secret rares and such, maybe. I think we gotta have uh, bling pulls, bling secret rares in order to uh, to advance. And especially after I see shit like this, it uh, it looks it looks kind of out there. It looks unconventional. It looks like it should be a uh, looks like it's got no right to look as good as it does for just being a character that gets handed out. Wish I could get one for all the old Soul Calibur characters too. Okay, that's it for the good stuff. It just gets darker from here. Guys, sorry. I am really excited about my hero. It's just uh, too bad we had to hit this uh, little road bump called uh, Libra of Souls on the way. I'm glad I got a case of uh, Yu Yu because that set was really good. Was pretty good, well designed. Yeah, not uh, not getting any boxes of this one, but uh, yeah, some of the characters are just uh, weird, like as well. His enhance is like an equal exchange for a character ability. As well is cool and all, but it's like they made his support like even better for other characters like Cassandra and not him. Like from Science with Love. <laughs> that should be a Cassandra card. Shield Big Bang, I'm looking forward to see how this card plays out. Because we've never had like a one-shot kill card that you just can build for four turns and then play that one card and win the game but you kind of can with this and it's kind of hard to stop because it's a form that ability on it a form and it doesn't leave your pool it go to your hand so there's not really hardly anything that counters it some stuff that doesn't actually get a lot of play counters it like uh drained by a kiss i would have probably made the form add it to your hand just so it's easier to stop because turning your whole stage, which you build really rapidly as Cassandra, into ammo to just throw at your opponent is pretty good. Like, go ahead, Shanghua. I'll just stare at you all day until yeah, I'm good and ready to kill you. Yeah, but Raptor will still be top dog at fighting against the likes of this deck because, you know, Raptor. Protecting the Protector. It was a well-needed card at the time when uh, Moonset slash... Spear gun decks were rampant. Probably not so much now. But uh, yeah, it should have. I think this card should have had different symbols. There's like already a bunch of good anti removal, anti stun cards on good. Like good in Earth already has has a uh, sense of morals. And life has Kali Yuga. And life does actually doesn't need anything else. Life's plenty fine the way it is. Would have been much happier if protecting the protector had symbols that actually need need those that ability on it, like evil and chaos. I'm actually really hype for all of this uh, scorpion support just because there hasn't hardly been any since Mortal Kombat, but now we got Inferno, Inferno and the Astra throws too. With Born from Destruction, you can actually have a semblance of a a slow. A slow uh, control deck, Scorpion 2, or Vega even. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Mitsurugi. The bad, uh, the bad Kuwabara. Like, Kuwabara's shtick is he builds a bunch of free stuff and he can't die. Mitsurugi's shtick is he builds free stuff but only if you combo, which is kind of a lot more work than just playing one attack. And... He dishes out some good damage and stun. But, you know, you can just kill Mitsurugi. You can't just kill Kuwabara. So, you know, not all of his support's just going to, like, get eaten up by other characters. Especially Takeda. That's a deck I'm excited about. Raphael. Probably my favorite card in this set. A character way too dumb to, get, to be printed during 5 point. A character way too dumb to get printed back in the day pre-cash grab, but uh, now you can just build the ultimate 
ultimate dumb control deck where you can rezone and block everything you want. Make the ultimate defensive deck. Pretty 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 sick. Xiang Mina, okay, yeah, assets are pretty sick. Xiang Mina Ultra Rare, they printed this just so that just so that I can uh, bump up those uh, numbers on my uh bump up those numbers on my budget deck list prices. Bump bump up a couple about a hundred and fifty dollars, however much a set of this is. Pretty good. Marrying age, that's a good little joke they printed. Did they actually is it actually the same text as on Ultra? I gotta check. That uh that's sucks with Samurai Roboto. Yeah, Talon. They're pretty scared of like uh letting Talon uh cut loose. She uh, she kinda sucks. Dancing Tempest kinda sucks. Everything else of hers is really good, especially up here of heart. I'd probably be okay with this set if they just didn't print Pure of Heart. Like, if they're gonna print Downward Spiral, which is really stupid, and then print this too, so that, like, you can still die to Downward Spiral because they can still kill you through Pure of Heart later in the game. But at least with Pure of Heart, they can't just spiral you on turn two because they probably. That would just be dumb to do that, to run into it. But, uh, but on the other side of things, uh, Pure of Heart just makes. Stuff like Botan support, just unplayable. Like why play, uh, like Voice of Reason still, you can still play that easy just because it's a spam, but like Mop Strike? Why would you play Mop Strike when you're, the whole attack might just get, just using it might just dunk on you. Just because Pure of Heart exists, which is a main board card. Yeah, Botan got, uh, got the short end of the stick in her set and also getting an even shorter end of the stick if it's if that's a possible thing. Tira, she's she's cool. I mean, uh, I don't think Jetta was too good, but I guess he might be after this he gets all this support. It's okay. I'll just keep playing pea shooter. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Uh Voldo, what a what a cool what a cool guy. I mean, uh he's going to not be so cool when Spiral downward Spiral gets banned. Because, like, his whole thing is, like, how many downward spirals can I play? How many downward spirals can I possibly play? And if it's, like, two, then I win. Or three. They can block, like, one, and then the other two will kill them. Because you don't want to pick up any other shit in, in that deck. That's for sure. Just downward spiral. I like Elegant Death Rose. That's, like, a more fair version. It only goes up to, what? It only goes up to, like, seven or eight damage. Guardian's Duty, or Guardian's Final Duty, that's a pretty cray card. I guess uh, Sweet Nothing's needed an update. Maxi, good to see Maxi back. It's a good thing that uh, whoever made Maxi the way he was in the first place, it's a good thing his mess got fixed. Oh, and uh, the other box topper, Libra of Souls. I got a few qualms with this card. Just from looking at it, I get the impression that you're supposed to use the form if you're going second. Because that way you get to actually review an asset. And then it draws you the asset and it drops down as a foundation. But you might you might still whiff and still commit your character. Which is kind of suicide in most situations. I mean if you're like if you're a uh, Kuwabara. You, need, you probably need your character ready at all times. If you're Taki you need it. If you're Vega you need it. So what this card should say is it should be 3 difficulty. And it should say, form, add up to one asset card from your discard pile to your hand. If you have zero foundations in your staging area and your character is ready, add this card to your staging area face down. Okay, it, it, it could have been that, it could have been that easy. And then people would actually play this card because it, it's, it's kind of a mess the way it is right now at four difficulty. And like that, enhance, like you know, you know that know the power of the abyss is a card, right? It's like not conditional. You can splash it. And it also reduces shit to zero speed and also tutors a reversal from your discard pile. Why would you play this over that? And when you can just splash that. So it's like every other character can pretty much splash. Maybe this card could have... Uh, 
done something other yeah if you fix the form like I just said it would be a pretty good card though but as it is ain't, ain't, uh, ain't no one gonna touch that so like uh, yeah looking forward to that downward spiral ban looking forward to Gil just straight up gatekeeping characters like Amy cuz like <laughs> I don't know how you print a character like Amy and have it have it be anywhere near the power level that Gil is I don't know how to do it same for Cervantes he's like a uh, like I don't know how you're gonna print characters like Cervantes when uh, Raptor exists even if you don't play any flash attacks in Raptor he still gets plus two damage or speed to pretty much everything because he pumps any attack not just flash and if you're Cervantes and you're fighting someone like I don't know Cassandra then uh, you know it would have been a smarter thing to make some of his support do stuff if your opponent didn't play an attack that would be a that would be a proper pro pro game design move after your opponent Passes a turn without playing an attack, get a momentum or something. I don't know, just anything, anything to discourage your opponent from turtling. Okay, let's go to my mailbag because I still got to do that. I gotta honor my uh, my people that put in the effort to email me some things. So, uh, Alex Marco writes, "Can you do a uh, can you do a budget rando list? Like, I don't got." I don't got Shang Mina's meteor, so I can't do a pro I can't do a proper budget list. But uh, I'll, I'll just give you a like a real not shit post budget list. Here you go. Uh, Justin Ward asks non-standard cards you would like to see reprinted. A lot. I mean, you could basically reprint almost anything. Like every other card could be a reprint because of how power level has uh, shifted power ha having an absurd power level is kind of okay as long as it can be countered and it's not a negative play experience kind of like a uh, spirit shotgun that's way better attack than almost every uh, legacy attack so let's look at some uh, nutty dark stalkers realms of midnight attacks huh Suji Hayate, look at that. Look at that innocent, innocent, bad spirit gun clone. So innocent. Change Immortal. Yeah, that card's a good time. I'd print that. I'd totally print that. High Plasma Beam. I mean, they kind of did print that with, uh, with um, uh, the Indines card and it didn't get any play. Yeah, they could print High Plasma Beam easy. Iris Spinta. Is Iris Spinta better or worse than than Spirit Gun? I I guess Iris Spinta is probably better just because that goes to momentum, so it's harder to counter it, and that also is a really good thing if you're Jetta, which this is a Rada Jetta only. Dark Force Mirage Body. This could probably get printed because uh. Foundations don't really do nutty things anymore, so like dropping them down immediately, I don't, I don't think that there's much consequence in that. You could draw a billion cards and it might, and then it might get bad. But it's a one check. It's a one check, and it's six difficulty. Nah, I'd, I'd, I'd print it. It's fine. Darkness blade. I mean, if they actually worded it right and then reprinted it. That's uh that's probably that's probably a negative play experience. Probably not. Getting your whole board tapped out. That's no good. Uh so not that one. Uh what other what other cool sets have some high high power level attacks? Let's look at a uh, flash of blades. Damn, they gave uh they gave Raphael a dumb mask in this one too. I just like his Soul Calibur 2 outfit or even 4. I guess they give him a mask in every other one. Yeah, these attacks aren't even like good. These don't even stack up to uh, power, uh, power creep cash grab. Okay, uh, let's look at uh, let's look at the first, the first Soul Calibur three set. Yeah, I don't know. Gauntlet bust. 
Is that too good? I don't think they'll ever print Harnessing Chaos again, so it's probably too good. Yeah, there's Shadow Banishment. Which is, it's like a near, nearly strict downgrade of uh, Queen of Hearts. Which is kind of weird. Because Shadow Banishment was like the backbone of my uh, Legacy Rock Howard deck. And now, I mean, besides for the Void only, but... Yeah, Shadow Banishment isn't even as good because you don't get the uh, free ability to go along with it. It has a block. It has EX1. <laughs> yeah. Probably just those. So well, there you have it. There's my shitty video. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to talk about until... Until my hero news starts cropping up. I don't know. I guess I'll make decks or something. We'll see. Or you clowns can uh, write me stuff. We'll see. We'll see.